Let me start this video by telling you guys a story, okay? Called Freak Out Friday, where we go back through the past week, see recommendations, stories we didn't cover. But for this guy with OCD, he couldn't handle it. He had to cut it off and restart his life as a woman. Now, obviously that's a bit of an overreaction. That's what makes it comical, okay? He is, according to their site, the science and technology editor, which I, I feel is either misleading or being very charitable based off of this article. Now, this is the first time I've ever been accused of being like racist or transphobic or anything like that. One of these things where people get on the soapbox and they have to apologize and your sponsors find out. It didn't really escalate that far, but I felt like I was under the microscope of like, hey, this guy's a bigot. Or I don't, I don't know what people say. Okay, then. I feel like I, I need music and graphics to fit the tone. The unnamed man was showing off a demo of his game at the conference PAX East when he killed the woman and then squatted up and down on her dead body. This is known as teabagging for its similarity to a sex act in which a man places his testicles into another person's mouth. And then this incident was reported to the man's employer and now potentially his job is at risk. So I felt like I was thinking about it a lot because it was a really interesting experience for me. And I felt like I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I made a little bit of a goof in response to it. Just because you were offended by a joke doesn't mean that the joke was inherently offensive. Turn on the siren for the joke police. This is the joke police. Put your hands in the air and log out of Twitter. Now let me be clear that whatever I'm trying to say isn't meant to be a generalization about trans people. That's ridiculous. I'm talking about people who are easily offended by stuff and make and start slamming pots and pans trying to change the world so that it doesn't offend them. Very much a culture of people getting offended on someone else's behalf. But what what is this person's point? That we can't make fun of trans people? Everybody gets made fun of. That's kind of like, in a way, an acceptance. Where people can joke about you and acknowledge you in that way, it kind of, it, puts, it makes you more human. Friendly tip for devs showcasing games, don't intentionally team kill a journalist and then teabag them dot dot dot, especially if she's a woman. Lock me up, you guys. I have committed a joke crime. Boom, dude. Got me every bit of the way. Oh! By you pushing back and saying, no, no, you can't joke about us. It, 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 it. It almost does, is counterproductive for you because we all get made fun of. Imagine if I got offended by every little Jew joke that I saw on the internet, which is, by the way, every single day. I wouldn't be able to get out of my bed in the morning. I feel like I can't express myself genuinely. And we're living in a society where there's eggshells everywhere. We're all tiptoeing around and it's fucking stupid. My intention wasn't to be offensive. So can you just accept it on that face value? If you're looking for an apology, you're not gonna get it. But hopefully at least maybe you can understand where I'm coming from a little bit. Guys, do not go out of your way to find who made these comments and to go harass them. These are genuine people expressing genuine feelings that I do respect. I just think that I should be able to respond and defend myself, that's all. Do not harass these people. These are good, genuine people who are just doing what they think is the best, okay? And guys, I love you. You know, genitalia, dangling or not, whatever's going on between your legs, none of my business. I support you and I love you either way. Oh, I personally agree with Ethan here. Obviously, when you put anything out in the world, you cannot control how people receive it. Right, you have the general idea of the joke, the premise of the joke, that it's an overreaction because you're so OCD, you have the intent behind it, but ultimately, someone's just receiving it at face value. And how they receive that is going to be based off of their own personal life experience. But just because you are offended, that does not make you right. The trans community has to deal with very real problems. There are aggressors on many fronts, but Ethan's joke is not one of those things. Tweeting, no one is naming names publicly. This is being handled privately and gently. It was an issue of professionalism and nothing more. But having the reaction that we saw there, that, that's, not, that's not helping. But hey, that's my personal takeaway. Maybe you think I'm just another asshole too. That's fine. We're at the point where we need that PSA. Let me know those feelings in the comments down below.